just going to try and put it all together, all six years of study, two, two days. Our future world, because that's what it comes down to. We understand now that we can create, so we have to create our future. Basic human needs, we look at energy, food, health, and shelter. That's essentially what we need. Okay? Energy, we have the Magrav, and then the next stage will be a standalone generator. So we are getting there a couple of months. Food from the Magrav and the Ganses, if you don't want to eat food, but in emergencies, it provides a lot of nutrition for a couple of weeks to get you going. Health, you've got pens, pads, magrav, ganses, and anything else you want to create and do for your health. Okay? Shelter, that is coming with the uh, creating your dome. There was, what is it? Uh, the oasis. The oasis system, which creates a magnetic environment just like the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, you'll be able to create an environment around yourself, around which would shelter you from outside elements. So those are all still coming. But once we have all those, basically, what are we going to do with our time when we don't have to work 45 hours a week just to pay for these basic needs? So we can understand how these are going to be changing our lives over the next couple of years. And then what are we going to do about it? Future trends, no electricity generation, coal, nuclear, or gas. Okay. <laughs> Will we eat as much food? Less corporate agriculture, more integration with nature. No need for roads, highways, airplanes, and trains. Because there is the technology there to create flight, in terms of machines for flight, or movement of Movement of ourselves, like the old indigenous people used to do hundreds of years ago, they used to be able to travel to places. So, if they could do it, why can't we? Creating any materials we need, the structure of society, and the way we currently live as debt slaves, is going to change. Some of the future trends, building your own space vehicle is not going to be up to somebody else to do it because the technology, as you can see in your backyard, you can create all sorts, so why can't you create your own vehicle? Simple as that. Or you can be your own space vehicle. No countries, no governments, and no money. Because if you... There's no borders, because you can go anywhere you like. There will be no countries designated by straight lines running across the earth designating this is yours and this is mine. Those will change. It's going to take time, but that's where we're looking at. Well, it's just no everything. <laughs> and no money, because that's a whole other hard concept. I could spend three days on stuff telling you how it can work without no money. But if we have all our basics, energy, food, shelter, then the necessity for money, if we can not there, if we can create the abundance we need. So money, do we really need money? We now have the opportunity to create the future that we want. Okay? But, as I say, we have to, we have the ability to <coughs> change our future. And it's the intention, as Liz was speaking about, it's that intention that is important because we now have the responsibility, we can create, we now have that responsibility of what we want to create. So the responsibility falls directly back onto us. It's not governments, it's not somebody else, it's not Centrelink. It's not somebody else that's governing your life. You have to take responsibility and it's your decision that affects everybody else now when you understand. So it's your actions that affect everybody else. It's your thinking that affects everybody else. So that comes with a huge, huge responsibility. 
So it's not great and easy at first. Um, it comes with a great deal of responsibility <coughs> how we want to create that future. Because we have the opportunity for the first time to change and create the future we want. We have to take back our independence and power from governments and people in authority. Uh, because they haven't done anything for us. So we have to take the back of authority. And it's not through violence, it's through peace. Because what's going to happen is we are going to start creating our future. Your government and people in authority are going to stick to their world because that's what they know and they don't want to change their world. So we're going to almost have a, a splitting of worlds where we're creating the world we want and they're living in their own thing, worlds. And there's no need to fight it. We just do our way and they will become obsolete. Or they join us. Okay, so that's the way we need to look at it. Not to fight, but to create what we want. They can join. They're welcome to join because they are all sorts of people and they are all connected to us. Um, but it's now the way that we as the people would like them to have. Not the way the corporations would like to run ourselves in the world. We become the creators of our destiny and that of the whole human race. And so there's the responsibility. It's not just your action. It's the responsibility for all seven billion of us that you have to take into account with your actions, your words, and your deeds. Because as you know, those affect everybody else. But we are all the ones with the power. We can change what we want, so if we all start thinking exactly the way we would like it, and start working together as a community, we can change. How do we do this? Say, so on an individual level, Take charge of your own physical and emotional health. Stop playing the victim. So you have to take charge of your health and fix it, because you can. It's the same as your emotional, you can fix it. Nobody else can, only you can. Make the pens, pads, scansers, and start understanding how your body interacts with you. You need to sort of become in tune with your body, and your body will tell you what it means. Our thoughts, words, and actions all have a magra field which interacts with all other fields that are correct. So, as I said, all our thoughts, everything interacts with everything else. And that's how we change the future. Just one person is needed to start the change, and it's already started. We just have to keep it going. The next stage would be community, to create community again, because this is a very nice, great community, but most other places don't have that anymore. Big cities have lost community, they don't know their neighbours, they don't know what's happening next door. So we have to start creating communities again, getting to know each other again. Uh, they say most official structures will be obsolete because they don't want to change. Because they are so invested in their structures and they don't want to change it first, so leave them. We're going to do what we want to do. And they can join us, not the other way around. And we have to welcome them back in when they want to. Because we can't exclude them. But when they're ready, they will come. So today, because you're here, We've already formed the Mwilimbang Keshe community. It's as simple as that. You can create another one in Byron. Okay, so you create your community because you, the guys, are here. You get together and you do what you want to do because it's for you and your community. You know what's best for your community. The main foundation can only support training and be the link between the communities. You can't have this hierarchical structure again of 
anybody telling you what to do. So it's just everybody working together on the same playing field.